Welcome back into the playoff edition of Browns Live, powered by First Energy. Nathan Zagura, very happy now to be joined by Joe Thomas, coming in from sunny South Florida. And Joe, we're going to go right into the film room and take a look at this week's play breakdown presented by Microsoft Surface. And what better way to start than the way the Browns started the game with Nick Chubb running for 47 yards to pay dirt against the Steelers to set the tone. Yeah, just like Nick Chubb has done so many times throughout the season, he's provided that spark for the Browns offense with just a basic outside zone. Here we look at the Browns. They're in just a basic two tight end set. Jarvis Landry is that backside tight end. Nick Chubb is going to start to his right, and he's not even going to have to chop his feet, and he's going to run right through a huge hole that's created by the right side of the Browns offensive line. Austin Hooper does a great job kicking out number 21 from the Steelers who gets upfield and creates a lot of horizontal and vertical space that makes that hole really big as Jack Conklin is able to hook and reach his defensive end, put his numbers to the sideline. That leaves only one man in there in the hole to make the play on Nick Chubb. And when you're number 20, Cameron Sutton from the Steelers, you're going to look for green grass that does not have Nick Chubb stomping those big, strong feet through and Wyatt Teller getting up to the second level, getting his head and his shoulders in proper placement to be able to drive his linebacker down the field, allowing Nick Chubb all the space he needs down the sideline to run deep and into the end zone. And you love to see the receivers. They talk about blocking down the field, Donovan Peoples Jones in the end zone there, but how about Nick Chubb's ability to just kind of change direction, keep his speed. And then he told Minka Fitzpatrick, thanks, but no thanks. All right, on now to our next play. That was a huge touchdown. This, though, arguably the play of the game. Maserati, third and two. You need two yards. What do you do? How about a quarterback sweep with Kareem Hunt as your lead blocker, Joe? Yeah, this play was just a, an amazing call by Kevin Stefanski because when you run the football with the quarterback, you actually are able to get enough blockers to block just about everybody on the defense. You don't lose a blocker when the quarterback pitches the football. And what you do here in this instance is you put – Kareem Hunt, who has proven to be one of the best blockers in the backfield for the Cleveland Browns, as your lead blocker. He does a fantastic job. I couldn't have done a better job myself driving the Steelers defender deep down the field, giving Baker Mayfield plenty of space to be able to get outside and get into that green grass and get down while he's still in bounds to keep the clock running to ice the game for the Cleveland Browns. And as we take a look at this from the end zone view, you're going to see a wide receiver come in motion from the right side to the left. And he moves number 51, one gap inside. And that's the guy that Kareem Hunt is going to ultimately get the block on. So he's now a step late to where he would have been otherwise. And Kareem's able to get that block, Joe. Yeah, this is an old school quarterback toss crack. And the most important block is that first block by Austin Hooper, getting that down block, being able to seal the defensive end inside, giving the tackle an opportunity to get out and kick out that cornerback. And then once you have that alley that's been created by the down block and the kick out, then it's all up to Kareem Hunt. And like you just said, Nathan, Bringing that motion with the receiver in allows Kareem Hunt to get into a position where he can leverage that linebacker, number 51, where he can get his hat to the outside to threaten 51 because 51 has to run to the sideline to try to contain the rusher, to turn the rush back inside to where all the defense is. And because Kareem Hunt is so fast and so physical as he's running downhill to get this block, he's able to create that space. 51 has to give ground to be able to try to get outside to turn back, back the runner into his defense inside and that gives Baker Mayfield plenty of space to get up and into the alley and all the time and space that he needs to get that first down that's right first down Browns and how about the wherewithal the savvy the intellect of our quarterback to not only get the first down but to slide inbounds keep the clock running so all it took was one snap in the victory formation for the Browns to punch their ticket to the playoffs